name is Oliver, founder of Strong for Life. Knee movement in the low bar squat. Now this is a very important thing to talk about because in the low bar squat, first of all, we want to have a horizontal back angle as much as possible to load the lower back, glutes and hamstrings. Now because we're loading all of these areas, we're involving more muscle mass and therefore we're stronger in the lift. Now in order to have a horizontal back angle as much as possible, we need to restrict knee movement as much as possible. So she's going to go underneath the bar and take the bar out. The first cue I'm going to give her is to unlock the knees. As you could see, she bent her knees. Lock your knees again. Okay. Cue number one, unlock your knees. From this moment on, I'm going to instruct her, drop the hip, lean in with the trunk, restrict knee movement. Go for it. And back. And again. Keep your knees back, lean in. One more time. Keep your knees back, lean in with the trunk. Good, and back. So it's going to vary a little bit from person to person because everyone has different body proportions and different biomechanical constitutions. So in some people, they have a way more horizontal angle than others. However, there's a huge difference between what she just showed now and what she's going to demonstrate next. She's going to drop under the bar again. Now this time I'm going to instruct her to look straight forwards and I'm going to instruct her to let her knees travel forward as much as possible and see what happens to the trunk angle. Knees forward, now see how bright she is. And again, when she's that upright, she's in her quads, less glutes, less back. One more time. Let the knees go forward, and she's very upright. Good, thank you. So you could see the difference between the two variations. The first one is the one we want to be focusing on. Unlock your knees, drop the hip, Lean in with the trunk while keeping knee movements backwards. Thanks for watching.